<coughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Luxor. Let's do this. Ra Ascending. Even the great sun god Ra finds himself in need when targeted by Set and his minions of chaos. Let not the light of the sun fade forever from the land. The Temple of Ra. Wouldn't the scarabs just burn up in the sun? You're the god of the sun, you can't just shoot some fire? They're bugs. I mean, I know they're cursed bugs in Egypt. Come on. Well, looks like I gotta save the day once again. Okay, that's really weird. The balls are shrinking and growing. I feel like I'm on shrooms. Oh, whoops. Ah, poop. So, how are all of you guys doing today? You guys doing good? Hope so. Hope everybody is happy. Hope everybody is healthy. And hope everybody... Gets all the jars. All these jars? I hope everybody gets them. I know I let the balls get pretty far, but it's worth it. I like to unlock those bonus levels. Alright, all you scarabs. Prepare to be squished. Y'all just a bunch of bugs. Now, unfortunately, there's no, whoops, there's no chain bonus like in Zuma. So no matter how many consecutive shots you make, you don't get any more points. But even still, you don't want to add balls. You still want to be as efficient as possible. So, I actually do remember something from my high school days. Hold that thought. We gotta get some coins. Grab all the coins! I'm rich! Give me those fireworks. Continue. Royal Catch. Okay, this is... There's a lot going on here. Alright, the most obvious thing to do is this. Alright, wait a minute. Alright, I just want to see something. If I push these balls into the pyramid, will I lose? Oh no! Oh. Fun fact, you can actually skip the puzzle levels if you want. But I'm gonna try not to do that. I wanna try that again. I, I know I'm dicking around. Right, come on, I don't wanna lose. Okay, so apparently in puzzle mode, the pyramid's just inactive, I guess. Okay, I've had my fun. Alright. Then, hmm, that oh, yikes. Now that story's going to have to wait. We we got bigger things to worry about. Okay, let's focus on this one. Because the force is going to push it back and squish the bug. Hmm. Wait, maybe that? I don't 
don't see. Holy crud. Okay, now hold on. Okay. What about... That. Do that. Well, now I've just done made a fool of myself. Use 100% of the brain here. No, I think I've tried that already. That did not work. Should I get rid of this? But now I got no more green to trigger this. So I feel like I've already lost. Alright, something about that scarab going back. You gotta utilize that somehow. Thank God we can skip the puzzle levels, or else this might have been the end of the game. I don't want to skip it, though. Okay, I feel like I was on the right track with this the first time. problem is we don't get any purple. Or wait, we did get one purple in the beginning. Or no. No, it's just red and green. What? The chicken. Okay, hold on. Yeah, we don't get we don't get any purple, so that has to be cleared out via chain reaction. Wait. Wait, I think I think I may have it. All right. Do this. And then trigger this. If I add a red ball here, it'll go back. Eh, kinda. Now it's just one big line. But again, we got no purple and we got no green left. Okay, so what I did last time, what I just did, I gotta do that, but I gotta save the green. Somehow I gotta save the green. See, we're so close. like a stinky catch. It's probably the fish they put in the Subway sandwiches. Alright, so where's where's that green? I think it's this green. Or no, it's not. Because you only get one green ball. So I can't do both of these. Oh 
Okay, well, we've been here for way too long. I'm gonna try one more time, and then we're moving. Some more green would help, you know. Alright, don't do that, because that just bleeds nowhere. I'm trying to think if there's anything I haven't tried yet. I'll do that. This green is really what's killing me. Alright. Maybe like that? Hmm. I, I want to put this green in front of the red, but I'm going to close this gap if I do that. Alright, we gotta, we gotta save this green somehow. I feel like I'm so close. I feel like there's something small that I'm missing. But it's, I'm just not getting it. Okay. Uh, skip. Scribblings of the scrub. Well, there's about five minutes of my life and everybody else's life that will not get back. My humblest apologies. See, I hope you guys are having a good day today. I hope everyone's nice and relaxed. Back. Away with you! So anyway, as I was saying for the royal catch. So in ninth grade, we had this really weird gym teacher. He would always talk about swimming. Now, he did it as a joke, but it just came across as really odd. It's like, alright, you guys, we're gonna do this today, and you guys are gonna sweat. You're gonna sweat so much, there's gonna be a puddle, and you're gonna slip in it, and you're gonna sweat some more trying to get out of the puddle of sweat. Every day was the sweat. And then one day, he said this gem. It's like, you know that shoe brand, Adidas? All day, I dream about sweat. To this day, that is one of the most powerful sentences I've ever heard. Every day I dream about sweat. There's no doubt in my mind that that man is going for it. He's probably the owner of some big car dealership today. With a mindset like that. And then once a week we would have health class. So on Tuesdays we wouldn't do gym, we would go to a classroom. And you know, basic health class to learn about uh, don't do drugs, how to have, you know what, you know, how to please your partner, parts of the body, stuff like that, you know, typical, you know, health stuff, and he called it mental sweat, if you guys are gonna work so hard, it's gonna be sweat dripped from the ceiling, and that's, that's how much brain power we're gonna exert, so even when we weren't exercising, we had a fixation with sweat. Now, the only reason I wasn't completely creeped out is because I knew he was joking. Like, I knew it was just uh, supposed to be funny. But I think he, I think he tried a little too hard. It was a little, it was a little much. But I will say he was a cool dude. Most of my gym teachers were cool. As long as you were actually trying and you weren't just dicking off, he gave you a name. Give me all them goodies. Harvester of herbs. Just makes me sound like a weed guy. Crossing the Nile. This 
So once again, we gotta get rid of that line at the very top. Alright, I can plant a shot here. No, I can't. set the foundation a little bit. Everybody go nice and slow. It's not going to help much because everything's blocked anyway. At least in this mode, you can't really lose. It's just all about patience. Alright, we got the speed ball. Take that, you stupid bug. Alright, we got a clear shot. Let's do it. We're gonna show this prehistoric bug how we do things downtown. If I snap, I really hurt myself. Oh. Crud. Ooh, we got two special modes in a row. Now we got Onslaught. This we can lose. So we gotta be careful. So you think some statues are gonna stop me? We're gonna have to try better than that. Statues, that's the best they can do? Oh, it's a cursed statue. Ooh, shaking in my boots. Well, actually, no, I'm barefoot right now. I feel like a sniper going through buildings. Whoops. I broke the statue. And I hit the wrong color. That's... That is wonderful. Oh, we're getting... We're starting to get overwhelmed here. I believe the blast radius of the fireball might also be able to destroy statues, but I don't know for sure. I like how the blue balls have the star on them, so it's like that classic Pixar ball. Or circus ball. That the elephants would bounce on. Now, depending on the situation, that lightning's probably your strongest ally. Okay, that was a sweet shot. Cannot believe I pulled that off. And done. Give me the coins. Give me that bling bling. That's what they're called ank coins. The vine of life. I ain't afraid of no vine. A potato flew around my room and something, something. You mean that kind of vine? I smell like bees. Well, ironically, when you work at Burrito Horn, you will smell like beef. Everybody 
Everybody there smells like beef after a while. We all smell down here. We all smell too. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. You get your butt out of this neighborhood. Okay, so there are color bombs in the game. You get them from purple balls. You go tell Seth he'll never eat lunch in this town again. Wait, if you throw a fireball on a bug, should it instantly kill it? Like, even if it's a roach. A big blast of fire like that. Like, pretty sure it's game over for most forms of life, even humans, cannot survive fire. Well, when in doubt, you fight bug with bug. Get a scorpion. That is what the game calls that power up, a scorpion. Just like that, the vine of life can keep on living. Sobek's waiting. Don't know who Sobek is. Never met the guy. Probably read about him a couple times in history class, but don't remember. So, uh, sorry. Whoa! We got all four jars! Well, you know what that means. It's time to sit on the thinking couch. Goodbye, yellow. Aw, oh, the net ended. I wasn't paying attention. I guess we're gonna have to deal with the yellow. Now don't get too excited. The color bombs just eliminate what's on the screen. It's not a permanent color band. Although that'd be cool if it was a permanent ban for a limited time. It's like the next few lines couldn't have that color. That'd be awesome. And then three matches in a row, that's how you get power ups. Yeah, this lightning's not gonna do much, it's not really vertical. Oh no, I screwed up. Is this the final bug? I think it is. It is a long line. Oh, no, it's not. We got one more to deal with. Sneeze like a good sneeze. 
Like, it just feels like it comes it comes out of you real good. And I can't really put it into words. We know you know. this time. Okay, that's gone. Can I make this shot? Okay, this one was alright. Not sure what was up with the other puzzle. started. They're going after my, they're going after my boy Geb again. Don't worry Geb, I got you. We're gonna send these suckers back to the depths of hell. Honestly, that's where all bugs belong. I do not like bugs. Now, some people favor some bugs from other bugs, like centipedes and spiders. Like, eh, don't kill it, it's good for the environment. Like, no. I don't want some civil war in my house over good and bad bugs. I'm gonna kill this bug, and that bug, and that bug, and this bug. Everybody's, everybody's the same. Everybody's equally hated. If you look creepy and you got multiple legs, and you're in my house, I guess what? You're dead. You are a dead man. Or a hermaphrodite. I got distracted talking about bugs. I messed up a shot. Do you ever be trying to just take a dookie? And you're just minding your own business. There's a spider in the corner. And you freak out. Or God forbid when you take a shower. And there's a spider in the shower. That's the real thing that'll get your heart going. Right, the sun god himself needs my help. Ooh, we got teal. We got a bright blue. Now that's pretty cool. Now, teal's pretty rare, but if you can get its power up, it's got one of the most overpowered abilities ever. It is a color sorter, where it gets rid of all the single balls, and it puts them all in pairs. Or just groups of the same color. So basically, you can get rid of blinds really quickly. Alright, I'm, I'm screwing up here. Okay, this is the first time we've had three lines. 
That's a new record for me. Not ever, just since I've been recording. Alright, we're starting to make a comeback here. It's getting a little better. But I have really, really left a big mess here. I confused the blues. I crossed the streams. Should not have done that. There we go. Oh. Okay, apparently it doesn't do it so. I thought it was the full screen. But no, I guess it's just some of them. Well, what a ripoff! I want my money back. Well, I guess it was free. So there's the problem. It was free, therefore it's crappy. Alright, these squiggly lines are messing with my head, man. Skadoosh. Okay, time for the bonus level. Alright, close your eyes and look at the arc. Gotta squish them all. Gotta squish them all. I know I'm missing a lot of the gems. That's must see how many bugs I can squish. Oh, I missed. Cultivator of the Oasis. Now that's a title. Alright, let's check on our pyramid. Alright, we're one step closer to the top. And I'm one step closer to attacking my dinner. Which means... I gotta go. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And everybody, just do me a little favor. Have a great day.